Hi guys, you are welcome to our YouTube channel, like it The former governor of Anambra State, B2B, is not only a wealthy politician, but also a successful businessman. He spent some time in the corporate world before venturing into politics, so in this video, we are going to find out some things about him. His full name is uh, Peter Gregory Obi, and he was born in uh, Onicha, Anambra State, in 19th July, 1961. Former governor of Anambra State and the vice presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party in the 2019 general elections, Peter Obi, said he was a trader who ventured into banking and finance before becoming a governor. Also, an engineer of South African Rivers. With all we believe, Peter Obi was a billionaire in Naira with an estimated net worth of 10 billion dollars even before becoming the governor of Anambra State. Peter Obi got married to Margaret Brownson in Marriage happens to be blessed with two children, a female named Gabriela Mwa Amaka Francis Obi and a male Gregory Peter Jose Luca Obi. Peter Obi also is a staunch practicing Catholic with a strong faith in Catholicism. Had a secondary school education at King's College, Onicha. For his higher education studies, Peter Obi attended the prestigious University of Nigeria, Nsoka, where he earned a degree in philosophy in 1984. <laughs> of wealth. During the Pandora Paper search, Peter Obi in an Arise TV program said, I quote, I was the sole engineer of South African breweries. I also brought in Obatin. The company I was with before I left it for my brother who took over and paid me off. That company became the next cash and carry which you see in Port Harcourt and Abuja. I was sitting on the board of three banks and was the chairman of one before I became the governor. So you can see it will be source of wealth. It will be lives in a luxury house worth millions of naira. He is also suspected to own a mansion worth 650 million naira in Enugu, Nigeria. It's also said that he has a house in London and multiple houses across Nigeria. Peter Obi political career faced a lot of opposition. For being a determined and bold man, he was able to overcome them all. He first contested for governorship seat in Anambra State in 2003 under the All Progressive Grand Alliance (APGA). However, his opponent Chris Ngegi was declared the winner by the INEC chairman, 
Itobi refused to accept the verdict and fought the case in court for three years until they declared him the winner and he took the governor's seat of Anambra State on the 17th March 2006. In 2010, Peter Obi contested for a second term of office as a governor of Anambra State. He gallantly won the election, defeating his opponent, Professor Charles Soludo, former governor of Central Bank of Nigeria. Coincidentally, he happens to be at the moment the governor of that same state, Anambra State. Peter Obi led the people of Anambra State for another four years. After that, he handed over to his successor, Obi in 2014. Peter Obi aspired to be the vice president of Nigeria during the 2019 general election. He was the running mate of Atiku Abubakar under the People's Democratic Party PDP. Unfortunately, he lost the general election to the incumbent president, Mohamedou Buhari. However, in 2022, Peter Obi not only aspired now to become the vice president of Nigeria, he has a greater ambition to be the president of Nigeria. So he decamped from PDP and moved to Labour Party. Without much ado, preparing for the primary of Labour Party, all candidates, step, even including Pato Tommy, stepped down for him as a presidential candidate. So at the moment, Peter Obi is aspiring to be the president of Nigeria under the party named the Labour Party. So we wish him good luck as he aspires to be the president of Nigeria. And the youths are suddenly behind Peter Obi to, to fly the flag of Labour Party towards the Asso Rock. So Mr. Peter Obi, the former governor of Anambra State, we wish you good luck. So Peter Obi chose hashtag obedience as his uh, slogan of this election. So we all say hashtag obedience. So, Mr. Peter, we wish you good luck as you aspire to lead Nigeria towards a greater height. Thank you very much for staying tuned to the end of this video. Remain blessed and stay safe. Remember to subscribe, share, and like our videos. Bye. See you on our next video.